Yo YouTubers, it's five past ten, this is live, live, five past ten, I'm still in the pub, there's proof. I never, you know, if I was to think like that, I'd like to take every day as it comes, then I probably wouldn't take on the... Okay, it's five past ten. Right, I'm still in the Stone Crow pub, virtual pub. I've just done two beers reviews. One of them's just been uploaded, so you can catch it now if you if you're fast enough. Right. Um, hold on, let's turn the sound off while I'm doing this review. Yeah, I think I think if you think you're gonna die like that. Well, I'm in the pub anyway. I'm in the Stone Crow pub anyway. That's the proof. And um, this is one for me, Alman. This is one for me, Dad. This is a tribute to me, Dad. This beer review. <laughs> no, it's not one of me homebrews. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm just pulling the glue off the can. Hold on. It was all like stuck together, you know, like a glue thing. There's a new thing now where they just glue the cans together. And then. Uh, Anyway, this is one for me, Al, man. <laughs> tellies, 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 number four, Tellies, number four. Premium, we'll soon find out, won't we, lads? Lager, Tellies, Tellies, number four. And I thought, I've seen this in the shop, I thought. I've got to buy it, I've got to review it, I've got to see how good or how shit this is. <laughs> Just getting the last of that Belgian double, um, French double, whatever it was. Alright, let's read the can before we get stuck in. Uh, please tell me where, 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 where. Oh, where's the, where's the magnifying glass, where is it? <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I left it over there, you bum old head. Anyway, to cut a long story short, my dad used to love Tetley's beer in his local pub in the Sea Dog just round the corner from me. But this is a lot harder. Right, let's read the details, shall we? Oh, totally new sort of lager. I'm not kidding you, it says that on the count. Oh, totally new sort of lager. New sort of lager. Premium lager. Tetley's Joshua Tetley and Son. Established 1822. <laughs> yeah, right. It's the sort of lager that's proper decent. See, they've even put that on the can. It's the sort of lager that's proper decent. Tetley's number four has been brewed the ale way for the perfect combination of taste and refreshment using our 200 years of brewing experience, Tetley's. For best results, save proper cold. This is looking like a big lager loud thing, this. Um, ingredients, water, malted barley, hops. Plain and simple. No fannying around, just straight in there, let's go. Tatley's number four. Premium lager. Tap the top, eh, lads? Okay, let's go, let's get it in the glass. Fucking log all out. Fucking log all out. Ooh. Now, I'm really getting into lagers lately because I'm really searching that fine bit German flavour, you know what I mean? And I know it won't be here, but if it is, I'll be surprised. But anyway, let's go. Number four, eh? Right? 
Come shots, foamy, nice. Nice and foamy. Foam, home, foam, home. I call it straw cord. Nice, kind of shitty looking in a way, but you know it's all right, don't you? All right. It's fresh. Almost a strawberry overtone, but there's not strawberries there, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Divvy. Dickhead. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> now it's got a fresh fruity aroma. Up hell you are. Bog standard. It's lager. It's definitely a lager lout realm. Hang on, what was the percentage? <clears throat> Four point six percent. Four point six percent. Now definitely refreshing. It's it is a lager. Trouble is, it's not much. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks good in the glass, doesn't it? it looks okay. And I put on that kind of like calling vibe, but like, I don't know, only by the taste alone that so far. Yeah, it's very bland, but it's nice in a way. I mean, it surely is refreshing. And it's Hetley's. So, it must be good then, wasn't it? He says as he dies slowly of alcohol induced illnesses <laughs> permeating his body. <clears throat> nah, no, it's alright. Um, it's, it is very refreshing very refreshing a lovely summer hot summer's day first quenching quest quenching thing um, look you can see it's all right can't you that's what you see when you look down the glass as you're drinking you see the cum shot mmm mmm Mmm, <laughs> the cum shot. Mmm, <laughs> 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 right, um, I'll say it's very refreshing, a good face quencher, right? And a good one for the garden, for the barbecue. Nice Tetley's. What more can you ask for if you're an old boy an old fart like me? Alright. I'm getting off anyway because I'm still in the Stone Crow pub. But I'm gonna give that. Uh, it's it's not much, it's not much to write home about, hold on. It has got a craft beer vibe about it though. There's a craft beer vibe about it, and I don't know what it is in my super sensors so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 I like it, it's alright, it's first first quenching stuff it's fun, it's good it's better than gravy, it's not like you know like when the peas uh, you know you got baked beans and the mashed potato and you don't want to mix, you don't want that baked beans to mix with the mashed potato it's a bit like that I'll give it a 7. Give it a 7 out of 10. It's not mind blown. In the taste department, but it's nice. It's a nice lager. Funny. It, it, it's fun. Nice. It's fun and that. Right. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Back to the to the pub.
for me. Lots of people are still commenting. Lots of people are still supporting. It's amazing. Um, Sin some beat though says um, Spotify. I can't. I can't. I can't for copyright. I'll sing it exactly like it should be sung. <laughs> you know, even with the guitar, the fake guitar. Run up and down, over and all down. Baby girl, run up and down, down and I can do that, but I can't do. Um, Paul Goggin, Paul Goggin, two pound super chat. 